Hi, my name is Mark. I'm from PlantNet. Today I'm going to show you how to thin peaches, nectarines, plums or apricots. The same thinning practices will apply. This is a subtropical tree at my place in Queensland. Uh, it'll grow as far north as about Rockhampton. The only difference in this variety is that up here we probably fruit it at around about November, whereas a lot of the medium to high chill varieties down in the southern growing regions uh, won't start until Christmas time, but the same thinning principles will apply. It's quite a large tree, as you can see. It's two years old, and it's got its first big crop this year. We expect to leave probably somewhere between 150 and about 180 fruit on this tree. As you can see, there's lots of laterals, or, or what a lot of people would call twigs, which are fruiting branches which I've pruned out from the main limbs that's where all your fruit will be bearing so i'll just show you now how to thin one this is probably the best one here to have a look at because we've got plenty of light on it the idea is to, to pick out fruit on that branch that have got any marks for a start or a slightly misshapen like that one and get rid of those straight away obviously a little caterpillar's had a go at that when the fruit's been very small um, but there's more than enough fruit here to sort of carry the the tree through for, through with what we want the next thing is to take the ones off the tip because quite often they're the smallest fruit and then what we want to do on a lateral that's about this long and about this thickness which is about pencil thickness in this tree's case being so young would be to pick out the three best looking fruit and space them nicely along the lateral so we do that by leaving the first one here and then we try and leave the next one on the other side of the limb like you'll see me doing here or far enough apart that it's not going to interfere with that first one that we've left. So we'll go that one there and we'll look for another one now on the other side of the limb. So we've got them staggered. One there, one there and one there. We could leave one back under here. As long as they're staggered. The best way is just to give them a quick twist and a snap and they'll fall off. And there you can see we've got our three peaches. I could have left another one under there if I wanted to, rather than that one. Uh, but he actually had a small mark on him, which you wouldn't see on camera. So that's our three fruit there. I'll do another branch here, which is about the same thickness. Same again. He's not growing right on the tip, so he's fine, but we'll leave that one. We'll take that one off to give that one some room. And then we'll look for one that's staggered in the opposite direction. There's one around there. There's our three fruit, one, two, three. Those fruit will grow up to around about that size. So probably about half the size of a tennis ball. Now as far as smaller branches go, we'll try and find a small branch here so I can show you the difference. Uh, probably this one up here. I'll just get this little one out of the way. That one up there really only needs two because you can see he's slightly thinner and not quite as long. So we we'll leave the two best looking fruit which is those two always try and leave the biggest fruit that you see because generally the first ones that flower and set are quite often the biggest fruit in the end because they get away before everything else including the new growth so you can see i've left two there if you had a lateral that was only that small you'd just leave one as far as up the main limb goes there where you can see there's a few fruit few later fruit go up there you just stagger them, probably about a hand span apart. So you'd leave that one and probably that one. And then probably another one up further. It's a bit hard to see up there, so we won't go any further. That should give everybody an idea on how to thin stone fruit. Don't let them get any bigger than this. Usually between a five cent piece size and a, and a 10 cent to 20 cent piece size is a good size range.